My name is Al Ainsworth. I live in Hernando, Mississippi. I was born and raised in Star, a little town uh, mostly known as Faith Hill's hometown down in central Mississippi. Moved up here in 1990 and have been here ever since in North Mississippi and um, a lifelong Mississippian. Okay, wonderful. Now tell me, where did you go to school? Where did you go to uh, undergrad? Well, first let's start junior high, high school. Where did you go to school? People like to connect to our audience and say, oh, I went to school with them. Well, I went to McLaurin High School in its first year of existence, my sophomore year. Okay. Uh, so it was kind of a new experience where a lot of schools are consolidating. Uh, Florence High School split into McLaurin, Florence, and Richland High School. Okay. And I went to, uh, did my uh, undergraduate work in five years at the University of Southern Mississippi. You know, I took the victory lap. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was majored in coaching and sports administration. and. Um, did three years worth of student coaching and got out. I was going to teach English mm -hmm. and uh, coach high school baseball, which I did for a while. Now the route to teaching English was a little, little funny because I had uh, a seventh grade teacher and an eleventh grade teacher who were very instrumental in, um, in the, the development of my writing skills, but I didn't know it then. Okay. My seventh grade teacher, Miss Ann Knight, uh, tremendous in grammar. Uh, I, I took advanced grammar in college, and it was kind of a, a review wow, of what Miss Knight taught me in seventh oh my grade. Oh my goodness. And then in eleventh grade, Miss Leanne Sharp, who was only at our school for a few years, really encouraged me. You know, you read some of the experts; they'll tell you that that's kind of the last thing you should do is name your book. But for some reason, that comes to me early. Mm -hmm. And I've talked to other authors who do the same thing. Well, this one, one of our family stories is the lines in the gravel story. And when we were, now understand that, that I just turned 53, so I have a sister who's 52, one who's 51, and a brother who's 50. So there, there's not much room between us. Just a year separated us in school by grade. And so we'd go out to the, the bus in the morning, and being the competitive family that we are, we would get in line, and of course, as the oldest, it's, it's my just desserts to be able to be first in line. But don't you think? All right, all right. Well, my brother thought since he was the youngest and everything was unfair to him that he should always be first in the line. Well, my sisters are endowed with an incredible sense of fairness, and they didn't see any fairness in either one of those scenarios. So every morning we go out. I told you to taste so sweet.